Here is my uh, aquaponics system. As you can see on the top there, I have my grow lights up here. They work out pretty well. My grow bed, on the other hand, I have just quarter inch uh, gravel. And as you can see, I have my auto siphon over here. And then I have the water intake over here. So maybe a little better picture for you. Um, it's just uh, the top of a, the top quarter of an IBC tote, 275 gallon. Uh, I have a wood frame out here uh, per the wife request uh, since I have it inside. Um, there's no uh, mechanical filtration or anything of that. I just have that and it goes all the way straight down to the bottom. Uh, it ha goes off, sits off about a quarter inch. That way if the pump ever does kick out, you know, it'll drain, it won't drain it all out. It'll leave a little water in there. As you can see, then that sits off just a couple of inches off the grow bed itself. It, uh, off the little fish tank here, I mean. Uh, there was, those are two by, those are, uh, six by twos, so it's sitting off six inches. It's hard to see, but if you go back here, you can see that it comes out about a foot. And that way when the water comes out of the grow bed from the auto siphon, it kicks into here and it, swir it swirls around in a, in a clockwise motion. Uh, if you look down into the water there, you'll see my uh, stand pipes there. I have my, uh, in, the, in the bottom right hand corner here, I have my uh, water pump. It comes up in a tube and kicks the water out also in a swirling motion. It's not full open. The top one here, I was planning on having it uh, maybe put some water or maybe put, shoot some water out for more aeration. Or, but the problem is my, pump, my water pump doesn't kick out enough uh, water. Now, as you'll see here, I have my uh, three systems, so I can, that top one, if I, if I close that off, and I close off the one right below the black filter there, I can, uh, I can op open up this little knob here, right here, and it'll, it'll back pump everything out. At least that's what the idea was, as long as uh, this one here is open. Uh, however, after running it for a couple days, um, it clogged up kind of with sand, so I unscrewed it and tried to back pressure uh, you know pressure all the solids out didn't really work I had to take the filter off clean off I got like five or six filters but uh, if it's not working with any fish in there I really don't see it working with fish in there uh, but yeah it's just a real simple system the bottom is nothing more than the bottom half of an IBC tote if I have an inch here of uh, left if I have been an inch, it goes an inch to the top, it's sitting at about 209 gallons. If I have about 3 inches or 4 inches, it goes a lot less. It goes down to about 192 gallons. Uh, this is black tarp on the outside with the steel frame that comes with the IBC totes. Uh, the black uh, tarp is just to prevent the sun from getting in there and uh, things of that nature. Now, as far as my pump I am running an eco plus submersible pump and if you go down here you get a little better idea maybe uh, it's not gonna focus I don't think no it's not gonna focus but it kind of shows you the headroom it's just uh, an eco plus six 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 thirty three there's a product number as your warranty, which I kind of liked about it. On the back is where I run my air compressor. I got four air stones in there because that just seemed to work out well. And I also have an Eco Plus commercial air pump. Uh, and there's that if you want to look up the information on that. It has four headers. I have four headers coming out of it. Seems to work real well. It's supposed to do 38 liters of air per minute. Uh, as you see, seems to work out real well. The biggest problem I, I find is uh, that little munchkin right there, she likes to jump up and because of that, and especially since I have a, I have, ch I have children, oh, I have a child, but I use a, that there, the cover up so no one can go in or the cat can't fall in by accident and drown and uh, whatever else. But just so you can get a better idea of what I'm doing here with my pump, I'll take it out of the water here for a second. It's kind of a pain to get out. So 
so you can see what it looks like. But I have a fan there and that helps uh, everything. Ugh. But just imagine this is in the corner of the pond of my little fish tank there. There's my little pump down there. It comes out, comes up, and it kicks off in that first head which helps circulate the water around and around. The top one just totally cuts it off. It, I wish I had you know, made a better pump or something that would do more, but for the bang for the buck on that thing, it seemed to work pretty well. Uh, it takes about 10 minutes to fill up the grow bed and, uh, and drain out. And then, as you can see, that goes straight into the grow bed. And for all of you out there who are wondering about aquaponics, a uh, great website, uh, I have not, you know, I'm not, I just, you know, I'm just on there, is uh, aquaponicshq.com. And uh, they have a lot of real nice guys over there, and they're usually willing to help you out. Just make sure you read up first and uh, get everything figured out. But that's POC3442, and thanks for uh, watching my video.